All right, look, I want you to explain this to me like I'm a six-year-old, okay? The entire street is clear, except for one small area under construction, this huge hole that is clearly marked and blocked off, right? Yes. You decide you must cross the street at this spot, no other. You fall into the hole. Now, you want to sue the city for negligence, right? Yes. Do I have a case? Yes. Yeah, of course you got a case. Great. I want you to go with my assistant, Iris, here. All right. She'll have you fill out some forms, tell you all about our fee arrangement. Of course, you know we take no cash unless we get cash justice uh -huh. for you. How's your back? You got any lower back pain, dizziness, nightmares? Funny you should mention that. Uh, I've Iris been having will some... take good care of you. Iris, you take good care of Mr. Finley. I will. Mr. Beckett's hey, here. Hey, thanks a lot. Very good. Thank you very, very much. Mr. Beckett's right. here. Take care. Mr. Beckett! Mr. Beckett, come in. It's good to see you again, Counselor. Judge Tate, Kendall Construction. Innocuous. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I sit down? Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> oh, look at this. You have a new baby. Yeah, yeah, little baby girl. Oh, <laughs> it's a girl, huh? Congratulations. Yeah, when we go. Kids are great. Yeah, thank you, Beckett. I'm a little excited about it. Listen, I, uh... <clears throat> what can I do for you? I've, uh, I've been fired by Wyatt Wheeler. Plan on bringing a wrongful termination suit against Charles Wheeler and his partners. Do you want to sue Wyatt Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown? Correct. I'm seeking representation. Continue. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. Want to hear mine? How many lawyers you go to before you call me? Nine. Continue. The night before it was due, I worked on the complaint in my office. I left a copy of it on my desk. The next day, the complaint vanished. No hard copy. All traces of it mysteriously gone from my computer. Miraculously, a copy of the complaint was located at the last minute, and we got it to court on time. But the next day, I was summoned into a meeting with the managing partners. They were waiting for me in the conference room. Oh, hello, Andy. Uh, come on in. Uh, would you mind hitting the windows? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, come on in. Come on in. Kenneth, yes, Robert, Charles, Walter, and Lydia. Thanks for coming in. Oh, of course. Uh, Andy, before we begin, uh, I'd just like to say that everyone in this room is your friend. I know that, Charles. More than your friend. Charles, I must apologize again for the Highline mishap yesterday. That, that was some scary moment around here. <laughs> wow, thank God the, the complaint was found and, and no damage was done. This time? What about next time? There won't be a next time. I guarantee it. Yeah. It's just that uh, something's come over you lately, Andy. I don't know. Some kind of stupor, uh, fogginess. Uh. Some people think you have an attitude problem, Beckett. Really? Who thinks that? I do. Excuse me. Am I being fired? Let me put it this way, Andy. Your place in the future of this firm is no longer secure. We feel it isn't fair to keep you here. 
when your prospects are limited. And now, uh, I don't want to rush you out. We've got a committee meeting. Wait, excuse me, Charles. With all due respect, this, this is preposterous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're right, Beckett. You don't have an attitude problem. Take it easy, Walter. If you had lost confidence in me, why'd you give me the Highline suit? Andy, you nearly blew the entire case, for Christ's sakes. That alone is inexcusable. It would have been catastrophic for us. Uh-huh. So you were concealing your illness. That's correct. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing I just cannot get through my thick head. Didn't you have an obligation to tell your employer you had this dreaded, deadly, infectious disease? That's not the point. From the day they hired me to the day I was fired, I served my clients consistently, thoroughly, with absolute excellence. If they hadn't fired me, that's what I'd be doing today. And they don't want to fire you for having AIDS, so in spite of your brilliance, they'd make you look incompetent, thus the mysterious lost file. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Correct. I was sabotaged. I don't buy it, Counselor. That's very disappointing. I don't see a case. I have a case. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct. I don't. Well, thank you for your time, Counselor. <clears throat> Mr. Beckett. Uh, I'm sorry about what happened to you. It's a bitch, you know? 